Iowans in the nation have become more aware of our state's high and rising cancer rates. Around these tables in Ankeny sits determination and much is needed. The Iowa Cancer Summit gathered healthcare professionals, the curious and the committed because a crisis sits outside these walls. New findings show that Iowans binge drink way too much, still smoke too much, skip fruits and veggies too often, and don't move around enough. Iowa's cancer rate is increasing while almost every other state in the country is decreasing. I get a lot of questions, you know, is it this, is it that? And, you know, my answer is yes, it's, it's everything. And we're really not going to be able to make a big impact on reducing our cancer burden unless we talk about all the things that are driving our high cancer rates. I think it's just a, a mountain of pebbles is what I say. You know, we have a lot of risk factors. You know, pe people are very concerned here about the pesticides and the nitrates and things like that. Um, we absolutely need to quantify that risk better, and, and we try to study it as much as we can and make our data available to researchers studying that. Um, while that's happening, there's plenty of other things we can do right now. The Iowa Cancer Registry announced a new grant to do a 99-county profile, hopefully to figure out why breast cancer is going up in cities, prostate cancer is increasing in western Iowa, while lung cancer is going up in southern Iowa. But overall, this is a 99-county problem, and Iowa is second worst in the entire country with what is happening here right now. In Des Moines, I'm Dave Price.